Luna has crashed because it's attached to a stable coin called UST. And basically as the stable coin UST gets sold off, more Luna gets minted. And so it has crashed because the stable coin was part of a trade and has disconnected from its peg. And I appreciate that's very technical. Yeah. So what is a stable coin? Because that name seems fairly ironic now given what we've seen. A stable coin in essence is what we call an on-ramp into crypto. So it's a token that represents one Australian or in this case US dollar and people use them to, as savings pools and a way to be in web 3.0 but not own actual cryptos and generally they are supposed to be safe. Just to break it down a little bit, what exactly was the mechanics of it? What actually happened in this trade? They bought a huge amount of this stable coin. Yep. Then what happens? What did they do? How did they make money? And why did it make Luna crash? Yeah, okay. So that's why I call it evil genius because the, the, there are so many moving parts to it. I'll try and simplify it so it doesn't get overly complicated. So yes, the first step was to buy the UST. They waited till a Saturday night when the volumes were very low and there were no bids. And then they went into a trading pool and started selling UST in massive volumes which then triggered all of the subsequent selling in a low volume market, that broke the peg. The selling starts to feed on itself from the mechanics of the algorithm. Luna was impacted because Luna is the underlying of the UST and it's linked in a way that every time a UST is bought, a Luna is burnt. That means there's less tokens in supply, so the, tr the Luna price goes up. The reverse applies when people start selling. So every time someone sells a UST, they mint a Luna, which means there's more volume and if there's no buyers, then the price goes down. Then it starts to feed on itself because people start panicking and selling Luna. Luna. And I mean, what we have seen is nothing short of carnage. It's very, it's quite horrible to watch. Did the market collude to make this crash happen? This appears to be um, a hedge fund. Uh, we don't know, well, people are naming the hedge fund, but I won't. Um, and then we, what we don't know is in the sell-off of, the, the trade was instigated by one person, and then we don't know if the momentum was created by collusion. Conspiracy theories would say yes, because it's a massive trade. There was a bit, over a billion dollars in capital, and then the market is saying that then they ended up going short UST, so that they took a massive risk to achieve what they did. I mean, people are saying they made $950 million. To pull it back into the analogue world, is this comparable to when George Soros broke the Bank of England with his giant trade? Oh, absolutely. Um, people are comparing it to that, um, largely because that was the, I think that was the most money ever made in any trade that we know of, ever. And it's very similar because if you look at what George Soros did, it's just we're talking about cryptocurrencies versus the British pound. We're talking about algorithms versus market mechanics. And the, there's commonalities like pegs and people trying to stabilise currencies and you know, all sorts of market mechanics that are very similar, yeah. We talk about this as a market event, but there's a human side to it. I mean, real people have lost real money, haven't they? The reason why UST was $18 billion was because um, it was backed by a savings pool and that savings pool was offering 20% returns. So lots of innocent people were had their money saved up in there thinking they were getting risk-free deposits, which... Um, you know, we can see now they're not risk free, but a lot of people do talk about crypto and these returns you get in DeFi as risk free. Can this happen to other coins? Look, there's a few algorithmic stable coins that have other death spirals. I wouldn't name them, but I would encourage people to do research. Crypto is very complex. Lisa Wade, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.